friends and welcome to a review of another pen and this time I'll be taking up one ink also for reviewing. Uh, this is a review of Pilot Prera and I'm gonna pair up with uh, the as the title says the timeless combination with Bay State Blue. Um, I had purchased Pilot Prera some time back and uh, somehow just uh, dipping, uh, dip, tested it for a while and then relegated it to later usage. Um, somehow didn't find the liking for the pen at that point of time and then I came across Bay State Blue. Uh, I was aware that the pen, uh, this ink stains and uh, it does stain pretty well the converters and the, the feeds and everything. So I decided to take up this particular pen now because I wanted to purely ink up uh, this pen uh, dedicated with this Bay State Blue and uh, some of the past couple of weeks I have not able to put it down uh, which is uh, pretty rare for me because I shuffle my pens quite often and that is how uh, things have started and uh, uh, I was pretty overloaded and my my spaces were being filled up by pens which I didn't use so this has sort of got me thinking and uh, I have slowly and slowly started, uh, started uh, decreasing my uh, pen collection because I realized that uh, uh, this is combination is very striking. It is very striking and uh, really if uh, if I'm not going to use any other pen much why unnecessarily uh, sit over it and not use it much. Okay. So uh, Pilot uh, Prera uh, bought it through Amazon. The pri price going for this is range, ranges between different uh, models and goes some, uh, somewhere between 2200 to uh, 27, 2800 uh, Indian INR. Uh, this comes in a, in a simple sleeve and you have a plastic case within it and it just opens up and you have uh, it, it comes with a corn uh, 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 corn 40 converter and a cartridge which was along with it uh, now uh, I had basically got two Prairas at, at that point of time because I wanted uh, a particular pen a sort of a cheap pen in a in a very striking color and these pens are now in this magnificent Constellations case. This is Constellations 88. I reviewed it earlier. I like to carry this particular case pretty often. These are the two beauties I'm talking about. This is Pilot Prera. This is a light blue color. And this Pilot Prera is in yellow. Both of them are medium. There are certain issues with this. I'll come up as I'm discussing the pen. For the moment, let us put this away. So the pen is uh, a size, a sort of a small size pen. You can see that it doesn't uh, uh, doesn't have much uh, length to it. But then you can post it and use it uh, uh, use it very conveniently. If I have to if I have to put it in uh, in alongside uh, another pen, this is a Twisby Eco T which I had reviewed earlier. You can see that the pen is it is a minion in comp <laughs> in compared to the other pens. Um, but then uh, uh, this has its own value. It's 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 a just uh, 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 take your pen and go to work type of a pen with snap open and uh, snap to post types type of design with it. Again, putting it in perspective for size. There you go. So I'll just keep it just in case I have to do something else. So th this particular is sort of a clear demonstrator pen. It has a slight bluish hue. So this comes in a it is a light blue kind of a color you have a round finial typical of pilot and then you have this clip which is functional and it has a kind of a wavy pattern this part is a slightly blue in color you have an inner cap which seals off and prevents the pen from drying it's a snap open kind of a cap you have prera written here pilot in japan you have a bit of design dotted design here and uh, it just snaps open and this is pretty secure lock and the ink doesn't dry, dry within it because of this smoky cap. The writing section is small it is, uh, but the girth of it is pretty good. It is slightly girthier than a Pilot Metropolitan and uh, good to hold to. And even the nib size is sort of similar to Pilot Metropolitan but this nib writes better and slightly on the wetter side than uh, Metropolitan. What you see on the nib is Pilot, Super Quality, Japan and this is a medium width and then the nib feed has a vertical serrations on that, a small step down here, the lower part of writing section, you have a small ring which is basically mounted onto the writing section, unscrews to reveal 
this had a con 50 converter i think i have kept it somewhere I'll, uh, con 40 i'll show it to you but for for my daily writing i prefer using a, a typical uh, pilot uh, uh, typical pilot uh, uh, cartridge and i have filled it up with base state blue this holds around 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 ml of ink without a fuss and does the job pretty well it's a clear demonstrator so I I think uh, it can be very easily eye dropped but you can put some silicon grease it has got a lot of amount of threads and I've seen I've uh, read people uh, using it as an eyedropper pen I didn't want to use uh, for the moment maybe if I dedicated it purely to this I may like to get the ink down into the barrel here you have a small ring and then again a light blue section and then this clear there the pen, uh, I am generally using it unposted only, not because on this I am pretty wary of posting it, but then uh, since uh, uh, I have to re uh, I have to really write uh, at a very short uh, uh, notice, so I just snap it out, write and then do. Otherwise, it can be posted easily and it does post very securely. So this does post securely, likely because of the ring which they have mounted here, I think so and uh, unposted also even with my hands um, i don't generally feel the need to post but although although on posting it does give a very good uh, hefty feel into the hand not very hefty i'd say a comfortable feel on the hand slightly makes it top heavy okay so the other one sibling everything is the same just the body is different you have a sticker of pilot uh, a medium weight prera and again everything else is the same the writing section, the nib, there's again a medium nib, you can see it here. And the writing, uh, this barrel opens up. I have put uh, Krishna ink, uh, this is Baikhari in it. And again, I'm using it as a, for a, with a cartridge. Okay, now the writing part. And uh, before I get that, I'll just uh, um, get to the ink, which I'll be uh, discussing with this. So I'm back firstly with the converter. You can see this converter. The dimensions of it are almost similar to the cartridge. And the good thing about this converter is the cartridge is that they are they have pretty big mouths. So the ink uh, sort of doesn't uh, it has a good flow. Um, I've I uh, in some some of the converters like Con Seventy, I found the problem of the ink forming a meniscus within and doesn't gravitate well while the pen is writing uh, these sort of balls help in this and even in this particular uh, uh, cartridge i don't found i didn't find the ink uh, forming a meniscus so it does have a very good flow uh, my preference is to have if it is a consistent ink i'm using i would rather use it in filled it in a um, in a cartridge than in a converter so this is a con con 40 converter and uh, for me uh, the game changer was this pretty lady noodlers this is a base state blue i ordered it uh, through amazon it was very expensive i don't even want to reveal the price but then this is a 4.5 ounce bottle i really wanted it since since some time and i i don't regret it buying through amazon um the writing part couple of things first let us go through what the base state blue and this pilot prayer is all about and then a uh, bit of difference between these two pins yep despite them bit being of the same dimension this is okay uh, the the uh, ring won't come very well on this uh, for the reason of feathering as well as this particular paper uh, even though I've, I've i've done a lot of uh, writing on this with other pens this this ink tends to feather a bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a pen a paper which is considered to be fountain pen friendly and i've done a some review of this and also tried a couple of writing sessions on this so this would be uh, what i'll be using this is pilot Prera. and it's in a medium nib this is a steel nib the pen is a demonstrator
light blue. You can see I'm writing it and posted. I didn't even realize that there is a need for me to post. Um, the pen uh, is wonderful. It's really wonderful. And the more I get down to writing with it, the more I realize that uh, why I've built up a, such a big inventory of pins and uh, just not kept it down to pretty simple basics. Uh, uh, it did need a bit of uh, uh, smoothing up, but then it has uh, its tiny feedback still left with it, which is good. I like this feedback and you can see uh, my this ink is going to stay with me for some time. But I don't mind inky fingers. This is an immensely, immensely uh, wet nib. The feed has not been tinkered with uh, and it still writes on the upper side of wetness almost probably to the best to the best of my liking. Um, on a smoothness scale, I would I would rate it almost at par with some of the best gold nibs that I've tried. It has a very tiny bit of feedback um, and uh, on a wetness scale, the nib performs exceptionally well. Very wet nib. This is a stiff nib. Obviously, it's a steel nib and it's very stiff. Um, I just tried to open up the tines to uh, improve the flow on a different uh, paper, and you can see the imprint on the on the lower sheet which it brought. So it's a very stiff, very stiff steel nib. And I won't try to flex because it's now writing perfectly. The tines are aligned. I won't destroy that. Reverse writing I can try. It's very scratchy, and it does write it right on a on an extra fine uh, side. Okay, now uh, okay. First, this merits of this ink. It's a very beautiful searing blue kind of ink, which stands out from a distance and the person who's holding this document you can see from a distance what ink has been uh, has been put on the words um, uh, almost no ink comes in comparison to this which i tried i had couple of blues which i thought would uh, i think they they would not uh, uh, i would be pretty happy with that I would, I would not need this particular ink but then you see the comparison this is a basted blue and you see the comparison with uh, a, a private reserve tanzanite. Uh, this is a camlin, this is a cheap ink which is available in India, pretty commonly used out here. And a diamond sapphire blue which some people have said uh, is in close comparison. But I feel that it's nowhere close to a basted blue. This is a lovely blue. It has its good fan following and I now I understand why, why this ink is so popular. Downside of this ink is feathering but uh, doesn't feather much on even uh, on this fountain, on fountain friendly paper just a bit of feathering uh, ghosting uh, not on all the papers but yes it has a bit of show through uh, i'll just see on this paper where i've written you can see the feathering but uh, if i'm writing with this and it does feather a bit i am ready to take that anytime ghosting so there is a bit of bleed through and ghosting, acceptable, I don't mind at all. So um, my, one of my pettings now, despite its fallback, does stain the converter, does stain even the, even the ceramic sink in which I am cleaning my ink, but then my family is going to accept it. I don't care, I like this ink. Now, uh, um, after this, I'll just show you one thing which which is uh, a side, sort of an inconsistency between in this manufacturer which i uh, didn't think was possible pilot has its quality standards on this uh, sort of underperformed 
so this is this is a medium prera blue and this is a medium prera yellow there is a definite nib uh, width uh, uh, variation even in the same width of the nib i don't know why there is a inconsistency it should not be happening with these kind of manufacturers but almost one is writing on a medium and you see that the other is all of writing on a finer aspect i initially thought maybe i have opened up the tines but then i saw the tipping if i would be able to do a macro i don't think but i'll i'll try to post a picture of this in this video and then you will see that the nib width of both these is uh, different the tipping is different uh okay i'll i'll try putting a picture which is not uh, expected for uh, pilot but there it is so uh, i have in the other one with uh, vikari and uh, if i write just beneath this this is you can make out that uh, there is a different uh line uh, width because of uh, with the same uh, width of the nib the same medium so uh, there is a bit of inconsistency in pilot otherwise this is not my favorite pen and this is not my favorite ink so until i see you next time hope you enjoyed this video see you